Well, it's been a minute since I've uh, posted a video, so I, I figured I'd go ahead and just uh, show y'all what we did here. This is a job that we did last week. It's kind of on and off in the middle of the rain. I'll show you what we got. So if you look out here at the land, you see this abundance of sand. So we drilled this well, I believe only 126 feet, but we set something like 99 or 98 feet of casing. So no sooner did we set casing, and I think like five feet after that, we hit like an abundant amount of water, probably like 30 gallons a minute or 50 gallons a minute, something just absolutely ridiculous. So then we had such an uncontrollable amount of water in the, the lay of the land here is flat. So then all the water just kind of sat here underneath the rig, which anybody who has a drill rig understands that you got to keep the water away from the wheels or she's going to sink. So uh, luckily we were able to make it out of here. But the reason why I'm back here today, because we just did this job like, you know, five days ago, um, it's actually the second job I've had to repair the damn fitting here cracked so i came back here on this one and i put a brass one in it and uh we had made a comment last week i had one crack and uh the very next job i did that one cracked too so either uh we're tightening them too tight or got a bad batch of fittings who knows but uh it's just it's not worth it um brass is like four times more expensive but the amount of fuel i spent driving you know an hour all the way out here to replace <clears throat> a 20 dollar fitting it's just not worth it so i'm gonna go ahead and just start put brass on everything but uh i'm just kind of showing y'all uh an overview of when we have to put everything out here at the tank kind of how i do it so uh basically you know go out of the well into the tank back here through a filter got my valve and then i trenched it over here trenched it right into the side of the house now if we uh if we walk over here and we look the reason well, what we had to do was kind of crazy but it was frustrating because it was it was raining and you know if you're working in the rain you just don't like getting wet but notice how big the crawl space is here it's legitimately two block high i mean it is so tight under there it's ridiculous and there was no way that you were ever even gonna set a tank underneath the house let alone get get under there but um we come around here my original plan was to come around here with the trench and keep it over here near the door but i stuck a shovel in the ground here and i found the septic tank so there won't no coming around here which we were originally told septic was out here but that, that is not the case but um so what we ended up doing i knocked a hole in the wall on the other end and i pushed my pvc pipe all the way to this side and i tied my wire onto it and then i just tied in to the uh, plumbing that they had under the house and then the panel box for this job is on this side of the house should be and i basically i just followed one of the holes here that they already had and i just ran my conduit up and i put my breaker inside the breaker box but yeah it was fun i uh i almost kind of gave up on it I, I i was in the midst of all the rain and i was like man this just ain't going our way we just need to come back another day and finally we got about an hour and 10 minute break in the rain where we were able to hustle and get it all done but i actually dug the ditch while it was raining and i covered the ditch while it was raining and the little span of time in between was the span of time we were able to do everything else but um but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead now i'm gonna flop this rock back on this bad boy and I'm gonna get on out of here yeah because the customers not here right now so I wanted to uh, energize the system and I wanted to stare at the pressure gauge to make sure that nobody had forgotten a sink on in the house since when I got here that fitting had cracked and they had it off if you wait a second here I'll show you I'll show you what uh what this fitting looks like so is this fitting right here let's see if I can put some sunlight on it and you can see it so basically right there there's a hairline crack so yeah I guess 
either the PVC males that were threading into these have too much of a taper, which this is the old style male adapter. There's a new style male adapter that we've gotten and everything is just becoming cheaper and cheaper and I hate it. You can't even find good quality stuff anymore. But um, the threads are a smidge shorter. There's like one or two less threads and then the socket itself is just like a smidge shallower. So they're cutting as much as they can from products and it's just it's just a shame. You know, I believe these were, who makes these? They used to, yeah, so this is a Dura fitting. We used to stay away from Spears and uh, we used to love Dura. Well now Dura's going cheap and we started buying Spears again. So I don't know which company makes this. See, this is a Spears fitting. And we always had problems with Spears in the past. But it is what it is at this point. You put brass on it and uh, you kind of do away. You do away with all those, you know, what if situations. But uh, hope everybody's having a good one. I know uh, it's not my typical video, but it, I haven't posted in a while. I've actually made a few videos, but um, for reasons I can't say, I have to wait to post them. Um, but when when I do post them, you'll kind of understand. But um, but yeah, so I've been shooting content. I just have to wait until um, the people I've been shooting content with tell me I can uh, make it public. So thank y'all for watching. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. See y'all later.